Investors beware. The SEC is about to hurt stocks and injure the economy. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The SEC is writing a new rule that will vastly extend the powers of this agency over the operations of public companies and countless private entities as well. The proposed regulation runs an obese 510 pages. The rule's ostensible purpose is to fight climate change by requiring businesses to disclose the climate risk of their activities. But not only that, they must also reveal the level of so-called Scope 3 emissions from their supply chains and their customers. What are Scope 3 emissions? The SEC doesn't give a precise definition, but they involve indirect greenhouse emissions from an organization's operations. Say you take a flight for business on a commercial airline like Delta. That flight's emissions is labeled a Scope 3 emission. You can quickly see that calculating scope 3 emissions of every entity a company deals with to determine if they're material would be a nightmare. Even calculating climate risk for most companies themselves will be a horror of paperwork and definitions. Companies will have to have their emissions estimates certified by an accounting firm or other recognized expert outfit. This is a gargantuan waste of brain power and resources. The SEC calculates the cost of compliance for companies would be around $10 billion. In the real world, it would be considerably more. The rule will be a bonanza for lawyers and litigation-happy special interest groups. Extremist climate change activists will threaten costly lawsuits lest companies conform to their political and operational demands. Large pension funds like the California Public Employees Retirement System and mammoth money management firms such as BlackRock will use this regulation to browbeat companies to further their political objectives. The immense effort to conform to such an extensive regulation will inhibit firms from going public. This is bad news for the economy's future in two ways. First, companies will stay private longer or not go public at all, depriving ordinary investors the possibility of getting in early on promising new businesses as they did in years past, for example, with Microsoft and Apple. Second, venture capitalists will be risking money on fewer startups since the opportunity to exit via an IPO will be lessened. This undermines one of the great, unique strengths of the U.S., the innovation and vitality that comes from new entities. This vitality ensures commerce here isn't weighed down by large lethargic corporations that hinder other economies. The whole SEC exercise goes way beyond its original writ which is to be concerned with disclosing to shareholders information, such as accounting changes, new investments, or legal troubles that can impact the value of a company. Specific environmental issues should be addressed by Congress and appropriate agencies, such as the EPA. The SEC scheme here is a gross and destructive overreach of power. It must be stopped. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again.